Hi, I'm Jessica Williams, Curator of History at the Intrepid Sea, Air, and Space Museum. Today we're going to go behind the scenes to explore one of the most distinctive features of our Cold War submarine growler, the sail. The Growler was a Cold War-era nuclear missile-carrying submarine. It was in service from 1958 until 1964. Right now we're standing on top of the sail, which is an area that's off-limits to visitors. The sail is the tall tower or fin that sticks up off the back of the submarine. Running through Growler's sail are the periscopes and snorkel and antennas. And where we're standing right now is the open bridge at the very top of the sail. People often look at sails on submarines and think that they're called conning towers, but conning towers are actually a feature of older submarines. The conning tower was a watertight compartment in the sail that housed some control equipment. It was also a place where uh, submariners could launch torpedoes and where the periscopes ended. But on a submarine like Growler, all those control features are actually down inside the hull of the submarine. So Growler does not have a conning tower. Growler generally only operated on the surface when it was in safe waters close to the United States. When Growler was operating off the Soviet coast, the submarine was generally submerged. Although sometimes Growler had to surface to deal with emergencies. For instance, on at least one occasion, Growler's masts got tangled in Russian fishing boat nets and they had to surface to cut the nets off the periscopes. Right now I'm standing just underneath the open bridge area in Growler's sail and the hatch right down here leads to a ladder that goes down to Growler's control room. Another function of Growler's sail was to provide vertical stability when the submarine was operating under the surface of the water. In 1961, Growler's sail was extended by about 10 feet to improve its handling characteristics. For more behind-the-scenes videos, visit intrepidmuseum.org.